What's going on, fitness family? You guys, your workout today is called the Baker's Dozen. So you have three rounds of four different EMOMs. So um, every minute on the minutes, four different minutes, you'll have four different combinations of exercises to roll through. On that fifth minute, I'm gonna give you guys one minute of rest. So you're essentially doing 12 minutes of total work making it a dozen total minutes of exercise. You guys, starting off, minute one. Everything is going to be broken down into a little bit of kickboxing related skills, but also some body weight exercises. You're also going to need a chair and an odd object for a little bit of resistance training. Your chair will be used for dips. So, minute one, you guys are going to start off. You have four break dancers. A break dancer is just like this, hands on the floor in the high plank position. You're going to take your leg, cross it under your body, throwing it all the way through while lifting the other hand off of the ground. You guys are doing four total. Once you finish four here, you have four burpee round kicks. So bring it all the way down, chest floor, come up, pivot your foot, boom, give me that round kick. Four total of those guys. Um, and you also have four jump squats. So bring it down, touching the ground, leaving earth. Okay. After you finish four of each of those three exercises, you're going to be in five points the remainder of the minute. Okay. Minute two, different combination of exercises. You guys have six Supermans on your bellies. Superman, just like so. Lift your hands, lift your heels all the way up, high as you can get them off the ground, squeezing your glutes and your lower back. Once you finish six of those guys, straight into six T push-ups. Give me one push-up, open up to a T. Push up, open up to a T. Obviously, when you're doing that, I want you to stack your shoulders vertically, okay? And if you need to, modify those push-ups by dropping to your knees, okay? You're next. Six extra, your six reps um, are going to be knee, elbow, to front kicks. So here it is. You're gonna give me a knee, elbow, all opposite side, into a front kick. Okay, alternating knee, elbow, front kick. All right, six total of those guys. To finish off, you guys are in high knees the remainder of the minute for minute two. Minute three, you're going to into eight right side and eight left side chamber kicks. You can use your chair for these guys. I want you to bring your leg up as high as you can. Give me that side kick, bring it into your chest and back out. Eight on your right side, eight on the left side, each side. Then you have eight dips. This is where your chair also comes in place. Bring it down, leg straight, okay? Hips stay close to your chair. Elbows at 90 degrees and back up for eight total reps. Once you finish there, you have eight alternating lunges. I don't care if you're jumping or if you're just stepping for a reverse lunge. Eight total, and then you have a hollow body hold. The remainder of the minute, your hollow body hold is right here. Lower back is flat on the ground. Lift your heels up, engage your quads, keep your hands here. So your shoulder blades are off the ground and your heels are off the ground engaging that core. Minute four. This is where your backpack or your odd object comes in play. You need your backpack for your overhead presses. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my straps, bringing it behind me. I'm starting here. I'm gonna do 10 overhead presses. Once I finish my overhead presses, I'm gonna hold it straight up top and I've got 10 overhead squats even though I'm losing my hat up and down okay trying to keep those heels flat on the ground and your hands over your shoulders with your object once you finish there we're still gonna keep those shoulders lit up you got shoulder taps the remainder of the minute and then you guys are gonna get a one minute rest break and you're gonna do it two more times for the Baker's Dozen